Hey guys, welcome back to the Web Monkey. My apologies because this is the very first video for the year 2022. I'm sorry it's taken this long for me to upload a video, but that's because I traveled to the UK for the Christmas and New Year holidays and coming back to Thailand, which is my base, uh, proved to be a lot more difficult than I expected. I had to do plenty of PCR tests and I had to quarantine, you know, because of the pandemic. And uh, I'm just grateful to be back in Thailand. So my apologies. Let me also apologize for the very boring white background you see behind me. But that's because I'm in a temporary Airbnb. My previous apartment that has a nice background will be available from this Wednesday. So I can't wait to get back there and begin to create more content for you guys. But today I just had to make this very, very important video because tomorrow, January 25th, WordPress 5.9 is going to be released. And this is a major, major upgrade from 5.8. And every release is typically an upgrade, but the changes we have here are so massive that you're either going to like the changes or you're simply not going to, you're simply going to hate those changes. Before I talk about them, let me introduce to you two new directories that have been added to WordPress. We have the block pattern directory. It's the same patterns that you've seen in the Gutenberg page builder. You can come in here, wordpress.org slash patterns and search for patterns that you can use on your site. But we also have the photos directory, which isn't yet launched because they only have about 456 free photographs. So it's still a work in progress. If you're a photographer or you have photos you'd like to share with the WordPress community, please go to wordpress.org slash photos and upload your photos. But hopefully in the next month or two, we will have access to plenty of images that we can use for free on our WordPress website. With that being said, Let's focus on the major changes coming with WordPress 5.9. Let's talk about the Gutenberg page builder. And for me, I don't know about you. The biggest issue I've always had with the Gutenberg page builder is that the UI, the user interface never felt quite as smooth as other page builders like Elementor or Oxygen. There was always something clumsy and jumpy about it. But now with 5.9, I can tell you that it feels a lot smoother and cleaner. Now here's a sample page I created and clicking around has become so easy. It's easy to click on a particular block, edit that particular content for that particular block. You can add new blocks as well. So say for example, if I wanted to add a new block in between this particular text block right here and this image, I can hover on the space between them. And now you can see you have this new blue line that appears asking if you'd like to add a new block. It's very, very, very smooth and I like it. Clicking around just feels less clumsy and there is definitely a subtle yet a big improvement in the overall feel of the Gunnabog page builder. Now, very, very important as well. If you go to the list view, you have access to all the elements making up your particular page. There is nothing new here. This has existed for quite some time. However, the major improvement here is that unlike previous versions of WordPress in 5.9, you can actually now click and rearrange the blocks as much as you like. So you can click on the image right here, drag it all the way to the top, take code, drag it all the way to the down and so on. You couldn't do this before. Also, next to each block on the right, you have access to the options button that would allow you to you know, duplicate that block, insert a new block before that block or a new block after that block and so on. So these are the two major changes. It feels a lot smoother to click around, work with the user interface. And then of course the major change to the list view that allows you to rearrange your blocks and elements as much as you want. Now, the biggest change coming to WordPress 5.9 involves the WordPress 2022 theme. Please keep in mind that if you're not working with the 2022 theme, you won't have access to this new feature. But the new feature I'm talking about here is the site builder feature. If you're not familiar with that term, it simply means that you now have the ability to build your entire website from the ground up. What this means is that you can now create your header, create your footer, but also create templates for like your front page, uh, the, the template that we use for displaying your pages, a template that we use for displaying your posts, and so on. All that is now available 
with the 2022 theme. If I go to appearance and I go to themes, let me show you right here, you can see it says 2022 active. But here's the thing, when you go to appearance, you no longer have access to the old school customized button that would allow you to customize your theme. Instead, you have this editor function, you click in there, and this opens up a whole new page entirely with this massive, massive, massive features. In here, I'm gonna give you a very quick overview because I can't show you the whole thing because this would require a separate tutorial. I'm gonna make that tutorial in the next few days. I'll wait for 5.9 to be officially released, wait for it to be stable, and then make a full tutorial showing you how to work with the new uh, editor feature. But let me give you a very, very quick overview. So right here, this is my homepage, for example. If I click in here, you can see I have the two areas I can edit, which are the header and footer, but I can click on browse all templates and this will take me to the template page where I have access to my fall fall page, the index page, the archive, I'm sorry, the archive template, the index template and so on, single post template. I can come down here to template parts, click in there, go to add new, and here I can begin to create my own uh, custom templates. So let me just say this, okay? If you're somebody who already works with page builders like Elementor, Oxygen, the learning curve in here isn't gonna be as steep as say if you're someone who doesn't have any experience uh, you know, doing stuff like this. So let me just show you one more thing before I round this up. If I go back to the editor, go back to my site, right here, you see this button right here, this is what we call the styles button. This would allow you to add like a general uh, color scheme for your website. So for example, I can go to colors in here, I can change the background to let's say like green, so right now you can see the page has the green background, I can choose a default color if I wanted to. I can do the same thing for the text as well, I can change the color of my text from black to white, change the color of my links from black to white as well, so you can see all my text, both the regular text and links are now in white. Also, this gives me access to edit the typography for my entire website. I can click on typography, go to text, change the font family, change the size, line height, and so on and so forth. So again, massive, massive change, and it's gonna take a while before I think people will get used to working with this new feature. But again, like I said, it depends really on what your experience is. If you've never worked with uh, side building features before, you might struggle to work with the WordPress 22, 2022 theme. But if you're someone who is experienced with this, then I think you might be able to uh, work with the new features. So these are the biggest changes coming to WordPress 5.9. And there are a few more changes out there, but I want to make this video as short as possible. So, so let me just give you my general thoughts before I conclude this video. I believe that WordPress 5.9 is definitely a huge upgrade from 5.8, especially with the uh, Gutenberg page builder. Now, regarding the WordPress theme, 2022 theme, like I said, people are either going to love the theme or hate the theme because of the new editor feature. If you're just a regular WordPress user who wants to install a theme, install some plugins, add content, you're probably going to be better off just working with other themes out there. But of course, if you're a developer, because it feels like the 2022 theme was built by developers for developers. It wasn't built for people who don't have a background uh, in web development. That's just my own opinion. And I feel like the developers of WordPress were under pressure to try to catch up with other site uh, builders out there like Elementor and Oxygen. And I feel that they're kind of trading off the simplicity that made WordPress so popular with people for more sophistication and more features. That's how I feel. I don't know what you think. I would love to hear from you. So please do let me know what you think about these new changes. Are you going to be working with WordPress 5.9, especially with the WordPress theme 2022? Of course, you're going to be working with 5.9. Everybody has to work with 5.9, but I'm talking specifically about the 2022 theme. What do you think about it? Do you like this new editor feature? Are you going to work with it or will you just prefer to just you know, keep on using Elementor or any other site uh, page builder that you're currently using. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
hit the like button, do subscribe to the channel if this is your first time, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial here on the channel. Thank you so much. Of course, I'd love to hear from you. So please put your comments down below and I would love to hear from you. Ciao. I'll see you in the next videos when I'll make a full tutorial on how to work with the editor feature. I'll see you then.